awake bright and early. They'd rush for their toys, and then, oh the noise, oh the noise, noise, noise! That's one thing he hated. Noise, noise, noise! <laughs> <laughs> then, the huge, then the who's young and old would sit down and feast, and they'd feast, and they'd feast, and they'd feast, and they'd feast. <laughs> they would feast on who pudding and rare who roast beef, which was something the Grinch could stand in the least. <laughs> and then they did something he liked least of all. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, would stand close together with Christmas bells ringing. They'd stand hand in hand, and the who's would start singing. <laughs> They'd sing, and they'd sing, and they'd sing, and they'd sing. And the more the Grinch thought of it, this is who Christmas sing, the more the Grinch thought, I must stop the whole thing. After 33 years I put up with this now, I must stop this Christmas from coming, but how? Then he got an idea, an awful idea. Oh. The Grinch, Mr. Grinch. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. I know just what I'll do. The Grinch laughed in his throat and he made a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat. With this hat and this coat, I'll look just like Saint Nick. <laughs> And, and I'm going to need a reindeer. <laughs> the Grinch looked around, but since reindeer are scarce, there was no one to be found. Did that stop the old Grinch? No, the Grinch simply said. If I can't find a reindeer, I'll take one instead. <laughs> so he called his dog Max. <laughs> William, do some funny Max ones. You know how to do Max. Max, Max. Come on. Max get some bags. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're... <laughs> so he called his dog Max and he took some red thread and he tied a big horn on the top of his head. <laughs> then he loaded some bags and some old empty sacks on a ramshackle sleigh and he hitched up old Max. <laughs> then the Grinch said, Get it up. And the sleigh started down towards the homes where the Who lay a snooze in their town. All their windows were dark, quiet snow filled the air. All the Who's were all dreaming sweet dreams without a care. When he came to the first little house on the square, This is stop number one, Max. The old Grinchy claws hit. <laughs> and he climbed to the roof with the bags in his fist. Then he slid down the chimney, a rather tight pinch, but if Santa could do it, then so could the Grinch. He got stuck only once for a moment or two, then he stuck his head over the fireplace a flu. <laughs> <laughs> Where the little new stockings all hung in a row. These stockings, he grinned, are the first things to go. <laughs> <laughs> then he slid and slunk with a smile most unpleasant around the whole room, and he took every present pop guns and bicycles and roller skates, and drums, <laughs> checkerboards, tricycles, popcorns, and plums. And he stuffed them in bags, and the Grinch very nimbly <laughs> stuffed all the bags one by one up the chimney. Then he slunk into the icebox, he took the Who's Feast, he took the Who Pudding, he took the Roast Beast. What? The Roast he, Beast? He, he, <laughs> he, 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 he did that he, to a beast. 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 Their last can of Who Hash. Then he stuffed all the food up the chimney with glee. And now, Grin the Grinch. I'll stuff up the tree. <laughs> <laughs> and the Grinch grabbed the tree and he started to shove when he heard a small sound like the coo of a dove. He turned around fast and saw a small who, little Cindy Lou who, who was not more than two. The Grinch had been caught by this tiny who daughter who'd gotten out of bed for a cup of cold water. She started at the Grinch and said, Santa Claus, why? Why are you taking out Christmas tree? Why? But you know that the old Grinch was so smart and so slick, he thought up a lie and he was so thought it, he thought it up quick. There's a light on this tree that won't light properly, my dear. <laughs> and I'm going to take it up to my workshop up there and bring it back here. <laughs> <laughs> the child and he patted her head and got up her drink and said, oh, yes. her to bed. And when Cindy Lou Who went up to bed with her cup, he went up the chimney and stuffed the tree up. Then the last thing he took was the log for the fire, then he went up the chimney himself to the old liar. 
On their walls he left nothing but hooks and some wire. And then the one speck of food that he left in the house was a crumb that was even too small for a mouse. <laughs> then he did the same thing to the other who houses, leaving crumbs much too small for the other who mouses. Oh. Oh. It was quarter past <laughs> Who's still a snooze when he packed up his sled, packed it up with their presents, the ribbons, the wrappings, the tags, and the tinsel, the trimmings, the trappings. <laughs> 3,000 feet up up the side of Mount Crumpet, he, he, <laughs> he rode with his head to the tip top to dump it. Oh. He, was, he was graciously humming. <laughs> They're finding out now that no Christmas is coming. <laughs> They're wake. They're just waking up. I know what they'll do. Every who down in Whoville will cry. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's <laughs> door. Grin the Grinch. But that is simply a noise I must hear. So he paused as the Grinch put his hand to his ear, and he did not hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in a low, and it started to grow. But the sound wasn't sad. Why, the sound that sounded merry. It couldn't be so, but it was. Merry, very. He started down at Whoville. The Grinch popped his eyes, and he shook. What he saw was a shocking surprise. <laughs> Who down at Whoville, the tall and the small, was singing without any presence at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or other, it just was the, wasn't the same. And it came the same. <laughs> and the Grinch with his Grinch feet, ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. <laughs> <laughs> How could it be so? It came without packages, boxes, or bags. And he puzzled three hours till his puzzle was sore, and then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas. He thought. It's something... And what happened then, well, in Whoville, they'll say that the Grinch, the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. And the minute his heart... <laughs> 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 Toys and the food for the feast, and he himself 